What's up guys, it's Baby Hay and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, hi, I'm Haley, and I'm so happy to have you here today. As you guys saw by the title of today's video, I am filming a pack with me and this is a winter vacation pack with me video. I did the same video not too long ago that a lot of you seem to really enjoy, but I was packing to go to Mexico. So those were a lot more warmer weather clothes, like tropical weather, and I am gonna be going to Seattle. So for this video and this packing, I'm bringing a lot more winter clothes with me. And I'm originally from Seattle, so I'm just going home to spend the holidays with my family. I definitely don't want to spend Christmas alone here in my apartment in Las Vegas, so I am grateful to be going home to Seattle to spend the holidays with my family. And I am just going to be packing up all my winter clothes, so I thought it would be fun to pack all of it, share with you how I'm packing it, and what I'm going to be bringing. So just going to get started on it and share with you all what I'm doing. So I did talk about this in my last video, but when I am packing to go on a trip, I plan all of my outfits in advance because I like to make sure that I am bringing exactly what pieces I need for each outfit and I think that sometimes if you just pack a bunch of random clothes you get to where you're going and you find out that you don't really have a top that matches the pants that you brought or you don't have a pair of shoes that look right and it can be a little bit frustrating when you're like dang it I wish I just had those one pair of boots or whatnot. So for me personally I really do like to plan my outfits in advance and that is what I have done here. So I have some outfits that I am going to be, you know, bringing that I've already pieced together and I make sure to try all of it on. I like to actually look at the outfit and style it. So I've tried all of these outfits on already and another thing that I do is when I am trying the outfits on, I like to take a picture of myself in the mirror of the outfit so that when I get to where I'm going and I'm getting ready for the day, I can just look through my camera roll at the outfits that I've already put together so that I remember how I styled them. Sometimes I forget what I thought looked to right together, so it's nice to have something to reference off of. So that's just one tip that I have for you know styling outfits and then being able to remember how you styled them. So I also packed a lot of neutral colors. That's another thing that I like to do is make sure that a lot of my pieces are interchangeable, especially for going on a winter trip. The pieces and clothes get really heavy, especially with like jackets and sweaters and boots. And so you wanna be mindful of that and remember that it will get pretty heavy once you put it in the suitcase. So although it might not look like a lot when it's on a clothing rack or on your bed, or on the floor it will start to get pretty heavy so when I plan my outfits I try to make sure that I'm putting together outfits that have pieces that are interchangeable so for example I was thinking about wearing this dress on Christmas I love this sage green color and then since it is going to be cold pairing it with this blazer this is just a leather blazer so to be able to you know wear this blazer again I styled it with another outfit so I have these jeans with a turtleneck cream long sleeve and then I would just pair this blazer with this outfit as well so you can see that I use the blazer for two outfits and then with the jeans it's important to be able to style the jeans multiple ways because jeans are also heavy and I don't want to bring more than one pair of jeans. So I can wear these jeans with this sweater. So now I've used the jeans for two outfits and I can wear it multiple times. So that's just kind of what I do is try to put pieces together that you can wear with multiple things. And then another outfit I styled is this button up long sleeve. So it's pretty like warm and you can layer this. So I was thinking of doing a pair of leather pants with it. And then I would also wear this black turtleneck bodysuit. 
And then another outfit that I have planned is this pair of yellowish looking sweatpants and a white turtleneck long sleeve. And what I can do is take this jacket and pair it with this as well. So this color scheme also goes. And then another outfit that I planned, I was wearing this sweater actually in my last pack with me video and a lot of you really liked it, but it is from Free People and it's one of my favorite sweaters that I own. It's a little bit expensive, but it's definitely worth the price. It's really good quality and I've had this since last winter, I think. So I paired this sweater with the Spanx leather leggings and these leather leggings are, you know, fold up really small and so they're easy to bring with. But the sweater is really heavy and it's really big. So to be able to wear the sweater again, instead of the leather leggings, I could pair the sweater with these joggers. And this actually looks really cute together. It's just a very like lounge oversized look. So that is kind of what I mean by, you know, styling things multiple ways and having pieces that are interchangeable. And that's why it really does help to bring some neutrals and then some staples. I'll kind of give you a quick rundown on the shoes that I'm bringing. So I have these heels and I'm going to wear these with the dress. And then I also have these black booties. It's nice to have just like a simple pair of black booties that you can wear with a lot of things. And then for sneakers, I'm bringing two pairs. I'm bringing these black Converse that are my leather high tops and then my white Air Force Ones. And these are two of my absolute favorite sneakers and they go with everything. So I'm gonna bring these. And then one pair of comfy lounge shoes are my classic mini Uggs, whoa. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring these boots because I can wear these with pajamas or I can wear them with sweatpants and they're nice to have in the evenings for just lounging around or if it's cold. I am gonna be going skiing one day and it's nice to wear these in the car up to the mountains because they keep your feet warm. So I'm gonna bring my Ugg boots. And then the last pair of boots that I'm gonna be bringing are my Doc Martens. And these are the platform Doc Martens and I'm obsessed with these shoes. I can wear these with so many things and they're so cute. They have them in other colors, but I just have the white pair and I'm gonna be wearing these on the plane with me because they are really chunky and really heavy. So I try to wear my heaviest pieces on the plane so it takes some of the weight off of my suitcase. This is one of my staple jackets. I have it here on the end because I'm also going to be wearing this on the plane because it is a little bit heavier and I only want to pack one leather jacket. So those are the jackets that I'm going to be bringing. And if I was going somewhere that was even colder, I could definitely pack something like a parka or just a way heavier jacket. I am going to probably be inside a lot and just like at my brother's place and my dad's place. So I don't necessarily need to bring like a lot of heavy jackets and then I'm also thankful enough because I already do have some jackets in Seattle at my family's places so I don't really need to pack any of those jackets I have like my ski jacket there and just kind of those kind of things but if you you know were packing and needed to bring that you could definitely bring that as well but I'm not showing you like a parka or a ski jacket or anything like that because those items I already have in Seattle. So I'm not gonna put on all of the outfits but I just want to show you a couple so you get an idea. So here is the green dress and I just paired it with these clear leather block heels. I like that the blazer is long so it is like the same length as the dress and then the leather in the shoes match kind of the leather on the blazer and I also like that the front of the shoes are clear. It just makes your legs look more long and just like lengthens the look so this is one of my outfits. So here is the blazer styled with the other outfit turtleneck jeans and booties but it's nice to be able to find a way to wear this jacket two ways at least I can wear it other ways too but I at least have two outfits planned with it so here are the jeans styled one more way with this sweater and then 
For the jeans, I just paired it with these Doc Martens, and in the last outfit, I had them rolled once with the black boots, but here I have them rolled twice. And keep in mind, I know that the weather conditions and the definition of winter is so different for everyone, so I'm just showing you for the weather conditions that I'm going to, but if it is like absolutely freezing where you live, then you could totally put on a long sleeve and a turtleneck under the sweater, and you could throw over a jacket. You could put leggings under your jeans, if they're like baggy like these ones so you can definitely layer your clothes to make them warmer for your weather conditions you can throw on a hat and then mittens so I know that this isn't just like freezing weather condition outfits but I am dressing for it being cold so I just threw on this leather zip-up jacket and not the leather blazer that's this one right here but you can totally layer these pieces and just make them suitable for your weather conditions. This definitely matches with the Doc Martens, but yeah, just keep that in mind that you can totally layer to make things warmer. So here now you can see we've gone from the other outfit with this jacket to now pairing it with this sweatsuit set and my platform Doc Martens. And this is the outfit that I'm gonna be wearing on the plane. I'm actually leaving in a couple of hours, so that is how you can see that I'm using the pieces for multiple outfits. So these are my suitcases and I am gonna be using the big checked bag, but I wanted to show you that it comes in a two piece set. I think it comes maybe even in a four piece. I know there's a three piece set, so there's a lot of different sizes to the CalPAC luggage and I love mine. It's been very durable and I've used it going to many countries and states so it's definitely been a good set of luggage to have and then I also have these CalPAC bags and I use these for putting all my clothes in so that it all stays organized inside of my suitcase so I'm just going to start packing and putting everything inside of these bags. So for lounge sets, I'm obviously going to be bringing this one, so soft, and I haven't worn it before, so I'm really looking forward to wearing this one evening. And then I have some pajamas, so my leopard satin pajamas, which I love. And then I have these Santa pajamas that are so cozy, it's like a long sleeve and shorts. And then I also have this pair of Christmas pajamas that are a long sleeve and long pants. My mom and I have matching. And then I also bought these pajamas at Target. There's one for me, one for Camilla, and one for my mom so that we can all be matching together. So these are like the pajamas and comfy lounge sets that I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna be going skiing one day, so I'm also packing my ski stuff. Just have a pair of mittens, I have a pair of black Lulus to put on under my ski pants, and then just a black North Face pair of ski pants, and then I have my ski goggles, some ski socks, this is like a neck warmer face covering, and then I also have two beanies. This one I could wear with an outfit, and then this one I usually like to wear on the mountain. It's really cute with the ball on top and says burr, so that is some snow clothes that I'm gonna be bringing, and then my ski jacket is already in Seattle.
So I went to Target to pick up a couple of things for the trip and I got some mini shampoo and conditioner. And then I also got a little lotion. And then I picked up these plastic toiletry bags so that I could put some of my like hair care or um, skin care or whatever in them. So I just picked up three of those. So I'm just gonna give you a rundown of what I brought. So in this bag, I have all of my hair products. So I have this Redken gel. I have this apple cider vinegar leave-in hair therapy, this Redken frizz dismiss spray, and then I have the detox dry bar dry shampoo, shampoo and conditioner by Kristen S. And then I also have a hairspray in there. And then I have some scrunchies two different kind of combs and then I also have some just hair ties, little mini hair ties for if I want to do a different hairstyle and then some bobby pins. The next one is my makeup. So down below I have all my makeup brushes, my CC cream, I have some concealers. This one is like my under eye concealer and then I have a contour concealer, some mascara, my lip, favorite lip combo is in here, the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and lip liner, beauty blender, I have the iconic highlighter, a sharpener, there's some different bronzers and blush in here, and then I also have a setting spray, and then back here, this is a eyeshadow palette, and I also have an eyelash curler, my Laura Mercier translucent powder, and then some eyebrow products. So this last bag is my skincare. I have face wash, my retinol, exfoliator, the complexion renewal pad, CE Ferulic, my eye cream. This is my favorite, favorite toothpaste. I have some sunscreen and then here in the back you can see I have a razor, my toothbrush and then the part that connects to my toothbrush, some makeup remover wipes, teeth picks. I also have my lip sleeping mask in here. And then I'm also going to be packing my straightener, my curling iron, and my hair dryer. So the last thing that I need to pack is my carry-on bag and the purse that I always use is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. This is the MM size and I emptied it out so that I could just plan out exactly what I want to bring in it. So I just used this little toiletry pouch to put all of the items that I want. So here you can see I have pretty much everything that I want to put in my purse, at least for the most part. So I have my deodorant, sunglasses, a comb, scrunchie and hair tie, extra jewelry, my keys and little wallet, and then my 
regular size wallet. I have my laptop charger, phone charger, my AirPods, and then this connects into my SD card. And then I have a bag that I carry my camera in, and then this is like a stand for my phone, so in case I wanna prop my phone up when I'm on the plane. And then I just have some gum and mints. I have magnesium, vitamin D, some medication. And then I also have some lip products. So I have a lipstick, chapstick, and then a gloss. And then I have my perfume. This is just like in a little travel size. Some lotion. I have lots of hand sanitizing things. So I have wipes and then I have hand sanitizer. I also have another pack of wipes that's bigger. And then I have a shout wipe and go. I need to grab a couple more of these, but these are for if you, you know, accidentally spill something on yourself. And then I have some band-aids just in case, because I'm clumsy, I, I need these. <laughs> some masks, I have a couple more, and then I have a couple snacks. So this is like the Go Macro protein bar. Grab some mangoes. These are so good. And then I also have two packs of candy. So this is the Smart Sweets. I love Smart Sweets candy. So this one is the peach rings and then these are the new red twists that they have. And then I also have my laptop. I also need to grab my work computer and charger, but for the most part, this is what I'm gonna be putting in my purse. So I'm gonna be heading to the airport here in a couple of minutes. So one of the last things I do is weigh my suitcase and I don't have a regular scale. I just have this little handheld suitcase scale, which is really convenient because you can even bring this with you on your trip. But I just turn it on, I clear it, and then you just lift up the bag. And the bag is 47.4 pounds, which is perfect. I'm right under the 50 pound mark. And I make sure to do it a few minutes in advance just in case I need to take some things out if my bag is too heavy. But that is everything that I'm packing with me to Seattle. This bag and then my purse. And then I have one other bag that has like my computer and work computer just because they don't really all fit in my purse. So that is everything that I have. and. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Stay tuned because I'm gonna be filming my Seattle videos. So I'm gonna do a ski day and just some other videos while I'm there. But I forgot to mention that I am gonna be gone for 11 days. So, or is it 10? 10 or 11 days. So that is everything for that amount of time. But I am gonna be closing out the video here. So I hope you guys like seeing it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!